Welcome back. We are here with Caleb and Luna, and we are about to go to work with Luna, actually. Um, we've skipped over the night here. And um, Luna, if you'll remember in the last one, Luna and Caleb got married. And also we gave Jewel a makeover. And Luna is almost ready to put out an APB on the suspect in her latest case, which is really exciting. The plasma trees are also available for harvesting. I almost forgot what they were called there. And it's Harvest Fest, but of course, apparently Caleb hates being thankful, so there's that. And neither of them can eat human food, so there's that. So I think Harvest Fest isn't going to be very fun. Maybe we do need a human to add to the household just to, you know, spice things up a little here. Because vampires can't do a lot of human things. Anyway, we are going to try and get just a little more information on this suspect. We still have a couple of things that we can get to tell us more about this suspect. So I just wanted to do that. And also, you know, we already have enough cases to get a promotion. So I think it's important that we work on getting a gold for the day. And one of the things says analyze evidence. It doesn't say, you know, put out an APB just yet. So we are going to add the clues from the evidence to the case map and also try to deduce a clue. I try to do that every time we add a clue just to see if we can get any more information. And she is just doing that on this really cool looking case map with a nice map in the middle. Oh, everyone hates her. That's great. That's great. That's just great. Um, wow. Okay. You know, it's fine. Everything's fine. Anyway, we're going to take a look at this um, suspect. And we are going to issue an APB for them. So we're going to go and find them. It's a woman with black hair, young adult jacket, and jeans. And big surprise, once again, there's only one person on this entire lot. So we're just going to arrest her. There's no use in waiting around for other people to show up. This is her. And she fits all the criteria. So we're going to arrest her and then head back to the police station to interrogate her. So here we go. We're going to start the interrogation. We know it's her, so I'm not really worried about this. We are, of course, as usual, going to start off as the good cop. So she is going to do that. And then we are going to slam down the evidence and then get a confession. Honestly, it feels like it takes longer to get them to sit down at the table than it does to actually interrogate her, but that's okay. We're just going to speed through this a little faster um, because I've been showing you this a lot. So don't want to bore you too much with the details here. Of course, I didn't even have to get through all the evidence before she crumbled. So I guess she, you know, was pretty weak, which we like. We like a criminal that confesses quickly. She's not very happy about it, but, you know, that's what happens when you commit a crime. So, here we are. And we're going to do other things to get to gold for the day, including talking to the chief and then working out for an hour. And as it turns out, apparently talk to the chief is an actual interaction that's like for the detective career. It's like get a performance review almost. So, I didn't realize that. I thought we just had to chat with the chief, like go and just talk to her and I was confused as to why it wasn't working. I thought that, you know, we'd just be able to talk to her and then that would go away, but it's not a friendly interaction. It's a detective interaction. I mean, it, it is a friendly interaction, but it's not like, it can't just be anything. It has to be the talk to chief and actually she will give us a review. And of course it says, you know, be careful what you wish for because she's not gonna go easy on us. So I'm about to figure that out. But first, we are going to try and just chat with her. And I continue to get confused as to why it doesn't work. And, you know, everyone doesn't like us. I mean, I know I drink their blood in front of them. And it upsets them. But really, she's got a negative relationship with almost everyone. So, awkward. Uh, we're also going to search a suspect, a criminal. And... Honestly, it always gives them a negative moodlet, but I couldn't figure out why the other thing wasn't working, and this is our only other option to get to gold for the day, so we're just going to have to wing it. This is when I realized that Talk to Chief was a thing, but we are going to 
search this Seahawk looking guy. Nice mustache, dude. So here we go, uh, back to talk to the chief again. And actually her review was like, what it, What was it? It was, I can't read that from here right now, but it was something like, you think you're so smart? I've had bladder failures smarter than you. <laughs> so ouch, but um, we did it. We talked to the chief and we're gonna get a new case assignment for tomorrow, so this is really good. We'll be able to start a new case and we're ready for a promotion, which is really exciting. That is definitely good because we want to keep working on this. She's at level five right now. So that's really exciting. And, you know, we want to get to level 10, obviously. And there we go. We got a promotion. We are now level six. We're a lieutenant. Very exciting. That is level six, right? <gasps> it's level seven. Oh my gosh. I've been totally mismanaging what level of work she's at. Did that really say level seven? I have no idea what level she's at. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, anyway, it's fine. We're just working to get to level 10. We'll know it when we get there. Um, yes, so we're inviting Jewel over. If you'll remember in the last one, we were trying to decide what to do with Jewel and how we wanted her to be a part of our family. She's already in the family club, and we've given her a makeover, and so I figured we should add her as a roommate. I thought that that might be fun, because then she'll just kind of be around, and we can continue to play like with her without being her. But actually, she said no, probably because she lives with her family, including a husband. So she was like, um, actually, I have to stay home. So I was like, yeah, okay, just move in. So we just stole her away from her family. That's fine. And look at her family. Oh my gosh, look really low there. Um, she's like a, a great grandmother and she lives with them actually. And I actually looked up here. Look at that, Naya. Naya is her, was that her name? I think it was Naya. Anyway, Naya is her um, ancestor, which is so exciting because she, if you'll remember, she is a vampire. She was Melanie's girlfriend from Octavia's generation. So that is really fun to see that things overlap like that. So I really enjoyed that. Also, for some reason, the Master Chef aspiration does not work. I'm clicking on it, there's nothing there. There's just nothing there. Anyway, we're pretending that it works and we're just having her join the culinary career, which is funny because she's a vampire. She doesn't really need human food. So anyway, um, Fun fact, her ancestor is Naya from Octavia's generation, and we're really excited about this, to have Jewel in our family. And honestly, I thought about having her break up with her husband, but he's an elder and a human, so we don't need to worry about that. Anyway, it's still Harvest Fest, but we have three vampires in the household, and nobody cares about it, so we're not going to worry about it. And uh, actually, she's getting hungry. Everyone's a little hungry, and I'm realizing this, which is a problem. I keep forgetting that they have needs because their needs are going down so slowly. I mean, I know that I gave Luna a lot of buffs so that her needs didn't go down very quickly, but I mean, even the others, even like Caleb's go down slowly. So then I end up forgetting about them. Anyway, um, they're thinking about ovens probably because Harvest Fest was awful, but she's still thirsty. So we're going to drink the plasma packs. She's actually running really low on plasma packs and Jewel was tired, her vampire energy was low, so I just sent her to bed. Jewel doesn't actually have any anything. I mean, she's a vampire, but you know, the game the game doesn't do a good job of having people outside of the active family progress in skills and stuff. So she's still like a level 1 vampire without anything going for her. So that's kind of a bummer. I feel like if she's already a great grandma, she's been around for so many generations that she shouldn't just be a level one vampire still. Oh well. Anyway, she looks good in this night outfit and she's going to come over and talk to Luna and Caleb. And so I was thinking like, I know Luna and Caleb are married and also Jewel is married, but I was thinking maybe that they would just all be romantic with each other. Like maybe polyamorous, not really sure. I just want Jewel to be a part of this, but I feel like because they're vampires and they live forever that they don't really like, it's a companionship. It's not really like 
the same way that the human sims think about love and marriage and all that stuff. Plus, I still have jealousy turned off, so it's fine. Um, okay, so we are going to just have that be the case. And also, I keep forgetting that Jewel is not immune to sunlight, so that's going to probably be a problem in my near future. But we're inviting everyone over because everyone's hungry. Like, Luna's hungry. She's been drinking the plasma packs, and it's not working. And Jewel is hungry, and Caleb's actually a little hungry, too. So we're just going to invite over the family club because... We need, we need some things. We need blood. Plasma. Whatever. So, we are going to actually have Jewel take her first drink with us, which will be really exciting. And that guy, whoever he is, is our... Oh no, Diane is burning. <laughs> anyway, um... Jewel... Oh, I forgot to link up Jewel's dark form and her regular form. Now it probably looks silly when she changes, but whatever. Um, okay, so we're making sure no one burns to death here. This is bad. And also, what is going on? What? Oh, Luna has work soon. Luna has work very soon, so we're going to have to be quick about this. So, yes, Luna's work is starting soon. But you know what? Good for you, Jewel. Just got a drink. And, you know... I feel like Caleb's like, I'm surrounded by people who drink blood without permission. Anyway, so we are going to head off to work right now. I was just checking Caleb's stats when that happened, so whatever. But what do we have to do? Oh, we're going to get a new case, right? We have a new case. I can't believe I already forgot that. It's been like two seconds. Um, we have a new case, and we are going to work on it. And then I'm realizing, I'm like, wait, Lindsay's not at work. Where is Lindsay? She's not in the family club either. She's not at work. She's not in the family club. You guys, I couldn't even remember where on the family tree she is. And the family tree is such a total disaster right now because the game has had it with me. So this is no good. This is no good, you guys. I think Lindsay's dead. But Lindsay's blood was Luna's favorite. Luna loved drinking Lindsay's blood. And I can't remember where Lindsay was on the family tree, so I can't find her. And look at all these other people on our family tree because that I haven't been keeping track of because they're not important. Anyway, I'm a little sad. I'm a little sad that Lindsay's gone. So, that's where we're at. That's what our lives have come to. We're sad because Lindsay's gone, and I don't even remember who Lindsay is except for the fact that her blood tasted good. So, that's it. That's where we're at. So after she gets a little snacky snack here, we are going to head to the crime scene because we are starting a new case, which is really good. And we've just gotten a promotion. Of course, we're ready for the next promotion already, I think, because uh, we finished that other case. But we need to continue to work cases and continue to be successful at them. Everyone's heartbroken for some reason, like both the cops and the witnesses. So maybe someone died. Maybe that's this case. It's murder. So, I was actually thinking about downloading the Extreme Violence mod. I feel like that would be fun. Could definitely make the game crazy. Maybe for my next Let's Play, I will have violence. Could happen. Although, I feel like the more mods I download, like, then I have to worry about keeping up with them. Like, MCCC usually releases, a, like, a new thing very actively i'm not sure if sacrificial is the same we'll have to find out also all my police officers are just getting in their bathing suits and getting in the pool talking to the witnesses in the pool everyone wants to hang out by the pool even luna just changed into her bathing suit to talk to this witness it's just everyone's in their bathing suits hanging out by this really big pool actually in this really empty house but there's plenty of evidence i mean look at all this evidence there's so much this is definitely gonna you know, be enough for at least two cases. So we might not even need to go to the crime scene for the next case, but I think I like to go anyway. It's okay. We'll see. And this guy wears an alien suit as a bathing suit, so whatever. We are going to finish gathering the evidence. I mean, it's everywhere. It's literally everywhere. And then this TV is broken. Oh, a TV in their bedroom? That's really classy. That's like high rich people, high class. 
I mean, I don't have a TV in my bedroom. Nope. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, um, I actually used to have a TV in my bedroom when I was little. Like one of those little tiny TVs that had a VHS player in it. That was the TV I had in my bedroom, and I used to watch The Little Mermaid on VHS. And it was awesome because the VHS for The Little Mermaid has the voice actress, like hanging out with you before and after the movie so that was really cute and um, that's my tangent I could go on more tangents about like VHS tapes and stuff but anyway uh, Luna is a little hungry like I said work is the best place for her to eat so we're just gonna grab this random sim out front you were just unlucky sorry and um, then she is going to start analyzing the evidence that she got from the crime scene She's really taking a bite out of this lady. And I was just checking. Or what happened? The music. Okay, I remember. I'm doing the voiceover right now, so I can't hear what's playing. But for some reason, the vampire music never went away. And I think it's because we had clicked on it before we went to work. So it like never quote-unquote shut off, X'd out, whatever. So I had to open it up and close it again. So if you've been hearing vampire music for the last, like, five minutes, sorry. And we are going to continue to work on the evidence. I'm actually kind of sad because our day is ending really quickly here. And I was hoping to get to a gold for today, but it's just not working out. It's not happening too quickly. The analysis failed. We're just doing our best here. But it's okay. Because we got a gold. There we go. So I wanted her to add the clues to the crime map. Oh, I don't think we have time. Nope. Okay. So we're headed home again. We're here back with Caleb and Jewel. I want to say Jules, but it's Jewel. Isn't Jules like a dog name? I feel like I've met a dog named Jules. Anyway. Um, Luna is going to come hang up here. Luna is tense. Caleb is sad. So I was like, okay, well, if we're going to get Jewel acquainted with anybody, she's going to have to do it herself because she's the only happy person. So she is going to come up here and chat with Luna. They're going to hang out in the sauna together, become better friends. Her and Caleb are like sort of friends now. So I want her to be good friends with Luna too. I want them to be close. I want all three of them to be close. And yeah, so they're just going to chat away here. And I find this a little boring. So we're going to go a little faster while they just, you know, queue up friendly interactions. Chit-chat, hang out, tell each other secrets, become good friends. It takes like two seconds to get a relationship bar up. And so we're doing that. I don't know why they stood up. I must have done an interaction that required them to move. And now they're not doing the sauna thing anymore. So I was like, why don't they go sit and like chat at, on a couch but actually we only have one couch in this whole place so you know maybe next time I build a, a house there will be more couches so anyway things are going to start to get flirty now that they're good friends I want Jewel to be like part of this relationship sort of I'm not really sure what I want I think I'm just winging it I think that we met her at the romance festival so it's only fitting that she gets romantic and I know she's married, but I don't care. So, you know, we're just going to do this. We're going to, I'm just going along with my whims. Not the Sims whims. Mine. My whims. So, um, that's what is happening. So, her and Luna are very flirty. Um, and then Luna goes to flirt with Caleb. And I'm like, oh, hey, like, we were in the middle of something. <laughs> so, they're having their first kiss. Very cute. And then I f immediately forgot that they were having their first kiss and tried to make them have it again. And then I was thinking that um, after we get Luna, like, flirty with her, we'll have Caleb get flirty with her. But then these two decide completely on their own to go woohoo because I have an um, autonomous woohoo on. So they just went off on their own. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess this is the way it's going to be. And then I was confused because I realized that it says try for a baby. But I think it's because of my MCCC settings is that you can try for a baby with anyone. So, anyway. Um, that's what's happening. And 
So now they are girlfriends. And then for the rest of the weekend, I'm going to play off screen and have her and Caleb also get together. So all three of them will be romantic with each other. And we'll pick up again on Monday in the Sim World. So there's that. And that is where we're going to wrap up this video. So here are some screenshots. I definitely enjoyed this video. I thought it, there was a few funny things that happened, like with the pool and then, you know, I don't know. So um, here is Luna at work, just enjoying her work day, getting an exercise in, talking to the chief. Finally, that took way too long, searching a suspect. And uh, then we are home with Jewel. So finally, Jewel is part of the family. This is very exciting. Lots of fun adding another vampire. I think I kind of want to add a human too because I feel like we need some, some diversity here. We need some fun stuff because I feel like we need, we need more. We need more, you guys. And uh, she's making quick work of the detective career, so this might be over sooner rather than later. But we are going to continue to enjoy the ride while we're here. So that is that for this part. And I will catch you guys next time.